What's up guys? Welcome to your 93rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial, I just thought this would be a good way um, to show you guys because it might be something that you need to do. Uh, basically I'm going to show you how to hide the keyboard in code. Since, for example, if we start a browser application we do HTTP or actually if we click on our edit text our keyboard comes up and then we do HTTP you know www.thenewboston.com and then we hit go our keyboard's still there it's just like chilling he's like hey guys what's up just hanging out here and uh, it doesn't go away so in this tutorial we're just gonna close our keyboard after we hit the go button and after it loads our website so it's gonna be a pretty simple tutorial for the most part um, it's just another one of those things that seems kind of complex. Um, it's kind of hard to remember, but uh, that's why that's why we're creating this project here. So again, you guys can refer to it in your own code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down into our switching case uh, for our Go button. And after we've loaded our website, we want to get rid of our browser. So we do that through an input man uh, method manager. So we're going to set up an input method manager um, and basically this class kind of manages the input so that's what that does and then we're going to call this our input manage uh, method manager IMM something like that we're going to import this and what we're going to set this equal to is we're going to cast in uh, the input method manager and then we're going to say get system service And what service do we want to get? Well, we want to refer to the context, and then we're going to say dot input method service. So that's a service that we're using, and uh, basically, there we go. Um, now we've set up our manager. Um, this input method manager is going to be set up from some sort of a, a s input method service. And now what we have to do is we kind of have to use one of the methods from this manager that we set up. So we could have created this within our onCreate method and have this variable, um, you know, be able to be used within multiple methods within our class if you want to do that. We don't have to set it up here. Um, but uh, what we're going to do now is use the method that's going to basically hide our keyboard. So again, once we're done typing within our edit text, we hit this go button. It's going to set it to a string, and then we're going to load that. Uh, URL and then we're going to want to close the keyboard. So this is how you close the keyboard. We refer to that input manage uh, input method manager and then we say dot hide uh, soft input from window. Um, so basically what that takes in within its parameters is a, a binder window token and fl a flag of some sort. So we're going to click that and for a flag, we're going to set this equal to be zero. Um, let's see if the Java doc has anything. Yeah, just set it to zero for now. And uh, then what we're going to do is we need that I binder. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the edit text uh, that we have in our class that basically is giving us the problem with the keyboard. Uh, after we're done using it, we're going to done using this edit text. We're going to say dot get window token. So it basically is going to convert it to this I binder. Um, so it's going to take our, U, uh, our edit text called URL and get the window token from it. And that's how you basically set it up. And this code will hide it, um, hide our keyboard after we're done using this edit text for the most part. So again, pretty simple, um, kind of comp. I mean, kind of. You're like, what's going on here? But I mean, after you use it a few times, once you need this, or you can always refer back uh, to this project. So I'm just going to put a little comment here saying, um, hiding the keyboard after using an edit text. So again, if you're working on a project, you can be like, oh, these are the two lines of code I need, copy and paste for the most part, and then change your edit text. So I mean, it's pretty simple, little tutorial, only two lines of code that we learned, but it's pretty useful as well. So let's just run it, make sure that we get that error 
out of there and we're pretty much done with this tutorial so let's scroll down to our simple browser and then type in a website again HTTP and then we hit go and it should close this um, keyboard after it starts loading our URL and there it does it so um, that's kind of what we want and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial have a good one